I'm George Rose. I played 151 NRL games, and now I'm running the best boxing promotion company in Australia. I've been playing footy since I was four years old. I had my first game out there in Walgut as a four-year-old and was lucky enough to get picked up and come down to Sydney at the end of my high school. When I first went to Roosters, there was an international cast of, of stars, you know, Adrian Morley, Jason Kalis, they were the starting front rowers and they were, you know, the best front rower from England and New Zealand at the time. Freddie Fittler's there. Ricky was, he was scary, to be, just to be straight out, he was scary. As a, as a 21 year old kid, when Ricky gave you a spray, you felt it through your bones. You know, he had high expectations. I learned a lot from the experience with Ricky and, and really enjoyed it as well. The moment with the trainer was my biggest, most memorable moment of, of my debut. And you know, when they finally called me to get up and run on the field, I was that pumped and I jumped straight up. And, and the Newcastle trainer, you know, he's delivering a message and he was sprinting around. He's, he's looked back to get the message and he's just sprinted straight into me and, and hit me straight in the shoulder and just dropped flat on his ass. And yeah, it was, a, it was the biggest hit of the day and it didn't happen on the field, but it, it was the most memorable moment from my debut. I made the decision to, to sign with Manly and head over there. Here is George Rose stepping up his left foot, coming to I don't know what sort of impact I would have if I didn't have, you know, the shape that I had because I think it made it a lot more difficult for me to tackle. And it's good to have a different body shape out there, something different. The nickname, great nickname, Gorgeous George. How can you not get behind someone with the nickname of Gorgeous George? And I've got to thank our ground announcer for that. And then just given my appearance, you know, I, I look like half of the blokes on the hill. You know, when you see someone out there like you doing what you'd love to be doing, it's a lot easier for you to live through that moment. And I used to look at them on the hill and wish that I was doing what they were doing too. So I was cheering them on uh, from the field and uh, respecting what they were doing on the hill and, and showing some love back too. I just started getting everything together. I was feeling comfortable playing, playing at that NRL level. And then I took a run off the, off the tap and I'd half got through the line. I, I just remember getting chopped around the ankles and it, it, it hurt when I got tackled. I couldn't feel anything and I looked back and my foot was pointed off to the, the other direction. I missed two grand finals. So the thing that we've been building for, um, for all that time as a team, as a squad, um, I missed two grand finals. It was 09 that, that it really kicked off again and, and 09 was a great season for me. It had been a long time coming from the moment that I'd, I'd left uh, Bathurst, left my family to, to come down to Sydney, go through everything that I went through in that time. To win a grand final, that's, that was a culmination of that 11 years that I'd spent in Sydney to date to get to that point. To be able to do it with my mates that I'd, I'd come really close with at, at Manly as well, you know, it was something that we'd all work through together, really topped off that experience. Manly let me know that they didn't didn't want to keep me, and it was it was tough. It was tough to take. Like I said, that was my home. It was like coming home to your woman, and she's telling you, you she don't want you no more. You know, it's a it's a tough pill to swallow. And you know, when that happened, I had to had to look around. I had to see what was out there. And there was an offer from Melbourne. I met with Melbourne, and I needed to make a big move. And I made the decision to go to Melbourne. They'd been these people that I'd hated for so long, but as who they were as men and as as regular people, they were some of the nicest guys I'd ever met. So I was confused for a couple of months. <laughs> when I finished at Melbourne, St George had been calling, uh, they wanted me to come and meet and I was, it was, I was hesitant but at the same time I'd supported the Dragons as a kid. I thought well the body's fine, I'm moving up here anyway, what the hell, let's do it. Yeah, you know, I, I got to meet some great people at that club as well and got to wear the red V. We made the top eight, got knocked out by the Bulldogs in a Golden Point Thriller, but we had a red-hot crack. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
I know, like speaking to my pop for, for so many years, is one of his biggest dreams was he wanted to see, you know, an, an Aboriginal team compete against the best in the world and get to play against everyone else and, and get to see everyone playing alongside each other. And the fact that, that I was able to do that and be a part of it is something that I always thought about, something that I was always really proud of. My whole family were really proud of it. Our first show, Dubbo RSL 2013, and Matt, my brother, obviously was a, the biggest impact on what we were doing in the boxing space at the time. And it just started with trying to get the opportunity for some young boxers that we were helping out at the time. Within five shows, we're here at the Horden Pavilion on Fox Sports, and we've grown to the point where now, you know, six of the highest rating Fox Sports boxing shows of all time and we've got some of the greatest boxing talent and, and we've put on some, some pretty red hot events and I feel like we've had a big impact and a big influence on the resurgence of, of boxing in Australia. We want to be doing the best shows in Australia and, and even doing the best shows in the world as well. To have that fantastic platform for, for our fighters to be able to you know, grow their fan base and become Australian sporting household names. We wanted them to be able to do that overseas as well. Take it to the world. <laughs>